season. I want to thank you guys for being a part of an incredible year of Wheel of Mutt. The highs have been high. Norris, ball game! Outplayed by Malik Willis! This. <laughs> Watch the Super Bowl. I know how unstoppable that is. That's all she fucking wrote. It's down the screw. I don't miss ice kicks. And the lows have been low. Back. Even the sky kick to a fullback. House on me. Er, fuck. We have to get this stop. Oh, good ball. Oh no! No way! How is this happening? Oh my god, I'm there! Oh, I have the one pick six, but these other drives, I'm just like, Ugh. And this season, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. This season, everything changed when EA decided to change the system. For four straight years of Wheel of Mutt, we would play seven games, then three playoff games, and then the Super Bowl. And now we play five games, two, and then the Super Bowl. Despite all these changes, I think we had the best year we have ever had so i just want to clap it up for my amazing editors my amazing thumbnail artists and all the boys watching for making this season so amazing now that being said we are not done with wheel of mutt this will be the absolute last season for madden 23 so most likely this season will end sometime in april i'll be kicking off wheel of 2k i'll be kicking off some awesome in real life content and i'd love to do some high level nba 2k content as well probably some some MLB the show until Madden 24 drops and when Madden 24 drops it'll be an even crazier season of Wheel of Mutt once again but let's not get ahead of ourselves we've got a brand new season of Wheel of Mutt ahead of us so for any new viewers I'd love to explain to you how Wheel of Mutt works and how the season is gonna look so first things first our team in Wheel of Mutt every single player on my team starts as a base silver except for my prestige players at the start of Wheel of Mutt I get three prestige players and every time I make it to a Super Bowl I can prestige one new player now a prestige player is a player who I am always entitled to the best version possible of so at the start of this season I prestige Justin Jefferson so I get to keep 98 overall Justin Jefferson additionally I have Jason Kelsey Christian Okoye Calvin Johnson and TJ Hawkinson and for those of you who have been watching Wheel of Mutt all year long you'll notice that my newest prestige from last Super Bowl is not an offensive player now, there was a debate to be made for some of my offensive linemen, even potentially CeeDee Lamb. There's a lot of players who could have gotten it, but it was not offense. Drum roll, please. Our prestige player from last season was Eric Berry. There were a lot of good prestige options. I'm not gonna lie to you, there were. Dalvin Tomlinson got a 98 overall D tackle. I could have gone with the Scottish Hammer, but something about Eric Berry's story and just how good this card is made me prestige him. So once again, for all new viewers, I made the Super Bowl last season. And on my team, I had an 88 overall Eric Berry. So I prestige Eric Berry, which gives me access to the best version possible. The 98 overall, 98 speed, 99 zone, 96 hit power, absurd free save. Safety, Eric Berry. He also gets some absolutely absurd abilities. Look at how fucking decked out he is. I gave him shutdown for tighter coverage and more interceptions on contested catches. I gave him enforcer for 1 AP for huge hits. I gave him crusher, my favorite ability of all time, completely free, which fatigues ball carriers when you light them up. And since he has enforcer, he's guaranteed to light them up. So perfect. He also gets deep in zone KO for 1 AP and deep out zone KO for 1 AP. So any deep route, Eric Berry's knocking that shit out. He also is insane in the run game. This is an absurdly good safety. I'm so happy I got him. And honestly, I think he pairs really well with our strong safety in Troy Palomalu. Now, Troy Palomalu, as you guys know, is another prestige. I'm really hoping Palomalu gets an Ultimate Legend release. I'm super confident he will. If not, he's getting an Easter card. But Palomalu's gonna get an upgrade. And then we can take him up to a 98. Palomalu's great, but I'm not gonna lie. 94 speed is starting to get questionable. There are tight ends with 98 speed now. We've seen a few times people can do these little cheese one play touch Downs. And unless he got a 96, 97 speed safety back there, they might not get to it. So Palomalu is still awesome. I'd love to get him there. Now, of course, on defense, we still have team of the year 98 overall Micah Parsons. We still have team of the year Sauce Gardner. And keep in mind, Megatron, he's prestige. He has a cornerback card and a wide receiver card. But this season, I'm electing to go with Megatron's wide receiver card. Now, as it stands, I have only gotten him to a 95 overall. My buddy Fargo has been grinding my field pass. Fargo, I appreciate you, bro. You're a stud. But it's just not possible to get a 97 or gold 99 yet. 
But as the season progresses and we keep doing the daily challenges, we are entitled to the best version possible of Calvin Johnson. So eventually I'll have the gold 99 with 98 speed. But he's already a fucking monster, dude. He's a 95 overall. 93 speed, he's six foot five, which really the big part here is that he's six foot five. He's got double me, deep in elite and deep out elite for a total of two AP. Of course, he's one of my favorite players of all time. And then card art goes crazy. So I'm really, really happy with Megatron. Of course, that does mean I did not prestige the Scottish Hammer or my kicker, who both would have been very good prestiges. We're back to Silver Cade York, which is a bummer. But one thing I do want to talk about, which I'm actually incredibly happy about. At the start of the season, when EA changed the whole head-to-head -head system, and they made it a lot shorter of a season, I was really bummed out. I thought it was going to mess with Wheel of Mud. It was going to change my flow. And I thought you guys wouldn't like it as much. But now that it's the end of the season, I'm realizing something. We have so many more prestiges, so many more Super Bowl rings. And I think it's actually incredible. It makes me so happy. Look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine prestige players. And we start with three, which means we have made it to six Super Bowls. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm six and zero oh in the Super Bowl this year. Granted, there were multiple seasons where I didn't even make the playoffs. I'm fucking Mike Jordan, bro. I am six and zero oh in the finals. Stop it. Get some help. But now let's get into team building since this is a first episode. Offensive line is absolutely pitiful. I have been blessed the last three seasons, really, with such an elite offensive line. I've always added good players. And obviously, Jason Kelsey's amazing, but the rest of these guys are pitiful. That is not going to work against elite edge rushers. Amon Ross St. Brown, I'm not too worried about wide receiver three right now. I think Justin Jefferson, Megatron, and Hawk can carry us. QB and halfback's obviously horrible. We got to do something about that in this episode. Defensively, I do not have an elite user. I could have prestiged for an elite user as well. I could have gone Ray Lewis but I didn't. That might have been a good decision. We're short on left outside linebacker. We don't have a single defensive lineman, which is crazy. I almost always prestige like an end or a left end or something. I could have prestige JJ Watt from last season too, but I didn't. And since Megatron is now a wide receiver, I'm missing a CB1 and a CB3. This first win could be very, very, very difficult. But there are a few things that we get to do since last Super Bowl went so well. Now in the last Super Bowl, two things happened. Number one, I won the Super Bowl, which is the most important part. Winning that Super Bowl gave me access to four total packs that I get to open right now to add to this team. That is these two midfield packs right here and these two trophy packs right here. So whatever I pull in these, I get to add to the team. And the second thing I did in that Super Bowl was I completed my challenge wheel. Now, completing the challenge wheel in a playoff game, Super Bowl included, allows me to get one of any pack from the store. This could be a pack that costs coins, like a game changer pack, or a pack that costs training, like a 90 plus game changer player. So I'm going to start start with my pack from the challenge wheel. I honestly think the AKA new class might be the best. However, there are limited free agency players available right now. It's Dalton Schultz and Tremaine Edmonds. So I'm going for the full Hail Mary on a 90 plus free agency player. But hey, even a 90 is going to help this team. Here's our one and only pack from winning the Super Bowl. Shh. I was gonna say shit. I was gonna say this sucks, but you know what? It doesn't at all. A 90 overall right tackle right now is so helpful for this team. He's got solid stats, nothing crazy. Does he get any discounted abilities? Is that threat detector discounted? Unfortunately, he does not get edge protector. I would have used that on him. I might run all day on him. Better protection against frequent shed attempts, but I'll have to see the AP fits on my team. I think he'll be great for now, but in the long run, we do want a right tackle who gets edge protector. It's very important. All right, next up is the two midfield packs the two trophy packs. These packs you get if you win a Super Bowl. Madden just gives them to you, so definitely makes sense that I'd get to open these. Hilariously, that is an upgrade. Elijah Vera Tucker is an upgrade. Any elite player here is so good. Kyle Van Noy. Oh my god! A ghost of mud! Oh! <laughs> There's no fucking way! There's no fucking way! There's no fucking way! There's no way! And we got Mitchell. There is no way! Oh my god! Dude, I'm ending my recording right now. Normally, I let my recordings go all the way to the end of the video, but I'm so paranoid of losing this footage. There's no fucking way! For anyone who's confused, Malik Willis was my quarterback all last season. He mounted a historic fucking run to the bowl. And he's back, man. What are the odds of pulling fucking Malik Willis? Dude, no way! I'm ending the footage and I'm restarting it. I need to see. Bro, 
generally speaking, I do not like to use the same quarterback season after season because I want you guys to see new players. This is like the one tiny exception I would make. I will not, I promise you, I will not be using Malik Willis to go to another Super Bowl. I will get a new quarterback in. But if this is the only quarterback we get available to us today, I am more than happy using Malik Willis for one or two more episodes. That's some voodoo magic. Holy shit. 83 Logan Wilson, I'll take that. Nothing wrong with that. Raekwon McMillan. Okay, we get a zero chill. 85 David Onyemata. All right, a D tackle, a serviceable D tackle, serviceable left guard, technically a serviceable middle linebacker, and a solid right outside linebacker. That works for me. Now, the midfield packs are actually worse. I think the trophy pack guarantees three elite players. I don't know what overalls, though, because I, I, they don't tell you. I have literally no clue what's in this pack. So we're going to find out the first one's a team of the week. 89 Ramondre Stevenson. That will be a solid hat pack for now. I'm not mad about that at all. All right, Ramondre Stevenson, an AKA player. It's 93 JPP. Huge right end upgrade. We will totally take that. And a veteran. 88 Michael Thomas. He's going to become a corner. There's two Michael Thomases in the league. Does this one run slants? I wonder how he covers slants. Not good. This is a fucking trash card. 88 Whoa! speed, 5 foot 11. They did you dirty, Michael Thomas. I'm sorry, bro. All right, hey, JPP is an amazing pull. Ramondre Stevenson. And you know what? This Michael Thomas is better than the silver corners I have in. So he's not that shit. But he ain't good. I'll tell you that. Oh, Super Bowl. That's a good start. That's a good start. That's a good start. 90 Noah Gray. That's the backup to TJ Hawkinson. Works for me. Got a team. No fucking. You know what? Whatever. Stevenson. And we get 89. The Jarius Sneed. So it looks like these are probably 89 plus overall players. We were really didn't get the best luck, but the fact that I filled both corners with halfway decent players is actually really good. Those are just free players, so I really, I can't bitch no matter what. All right, let's go get everybody in, see what the team's rocking with. Then we'll take our three wheel spins to add to our team and go play this game to see if we can actually keep our players. All right, left guard is Wes Schweitzer. Did I get a left tackle? I don't know if I got access to a left tackle. I did not. So we're stuck with our silver left tackle, but I did get a right guard. Elijah Vera Tucker. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Malik's in there. Ramondre, Wes Schweitzer, Elijah Vera Tucker, George Fant, and and then defensively, we got Logan Wilson. Although low-key JPP could be a really good outside linebacker too. I will put Raekwon McMillan in here, even though I know he's not going to do much. I'll also put Kyle Van Noy at MLB2. Not going to do much either, but it's better than nothing. David Onyemata can come in at D-Tackle 1. At right end for Dominique Robinson will be JPP. A 93 overall. Dude, this JPP is good. Look at those stats. 6'5", 88 speed, 91 excel, and 92 block shed. That could literally... He could be my right end for the whole season. Then CB1. It doesn't matter who's CB1 or CB2 on my team, because all they end up doing is playing zone on different ends of the field. So it doesn't matter that Sauce Gardner is CB2. In fact, I kind of like Sauce Gardner at CB2 for... I don't even know why. I just always keep him there, and it seems like he makes more plays at CB2. So Legereus needs CB1, Sauce at a 99 CB2, and Michael Thomas at CB3. Defense already looks a lot better. So we're an 86 overall before our wheel spins. That's thanks to our prestiges. We still have some serious problems. Corners is a huge problem still. Middle linebacker is a massive problem. Offensive line, I still cannot run behind. And Ramondre Stevenson's not a good enough hatback to run anyway. The only thing I can do with this team right now offensively is feed Jefferson, feed Hawkinson, feed Megatron, and maybe pass out of the backfield to Ramondre Stevenson. But he also doesn't have hatback master, and Malik Willis doesn't get hot route master. So I'm kind of limited on the routes I can run too. Either way, no wheel spins yet. So let's get into our first. The final season, ladies and gentlemen. Let's kick this off strong. Our first wheel spin of our first episode of the final season is the AKA Team Wheel. So I can take any single AKA player in the game, but they must be on. It's gonna be New Orleans Saints. I don't know what they have. Redskins. I know it's not the Redskins anymore. I'm just incredibly racist. I know they have Scary Terry. Okay, they have Scary Terry for sure. Keep in mind, I want to be clear with everybody on this. The only way I can take a player is if I click on team, I choose their team, and they pop up. The only Washington Commander AKA player is Terry McLaurin. Scary Terry. Incredible card. Nasty card art. 97 overall with insane speed. So, my wide receivers are cracked. Megatron, Justin Jefferson, Scary Terry, Hawkinson. I've even got Noah Gray now. Awesome wide receiver to add to the squad. Just casually has plus 23 speed on Amon Ross St. Brown. So, Scary Terry. Now, the good news about these limited AKAs is I don't have to go buy, you know, all the pieces or whatever. I hate when EA does that shit. So, what abilities do you get? He gets deep out elite for free, runoff elite for free, short out elite for free, or red zone threat for one AP. I'm gonna go deep out elite for free. That's pretty nice. He also gets route tech for one AP. I love route tech. Two separate options. You can go rack them up, Scary Terry, max security, high success 
success rate on possession catches? I'm gonna be honest. I don't think either of those are worth it. You already have an absurd success rate on possession catches. You rarely drop those no matter what. And rack them up is so unbelievably circumstantial. You barely drop rack catches either. I'm gonna put no X Factor on them. I think my X Factors are better on other players. All right, that takes us into our second wheel spin. We start with a 97 overall wide receiver. I'd like to add a piece that's really, really gonna help you though. The most expensive pack. Hey, let's go. This has been sitting on my bench for so long. Now, as you guys know, I love to save really cool packs on my bench for Wheel of Month. For example, I got a 98 overall team of the year fantasy pack, 96 plus weekly wild cards, all this stuff. But the most expensive pack is this one right here, the All Pro Star Fantasy Pack. Kind of a tongue twister. This was available in the store like two-ish weeks ago, but it's a nasty pack. It is one single pack, but it was so expensive. I get to take whatever's in here. I think I get three players out of this, so this is gonna be huge. Okay, we get three picks. Oh my God. Dude, insane. Saquon. Ooh. Ooh. All right. 94 Saquon. We got a series Redux, which is 92 Tyron Matthew. Probably not going to grab that. Our third team of the week is Marshawn Lattimore. Ooh, that could be so good. Our fourth player is a 92 Christmas, which is Juju. Definitely not going to grab that. I got so many wide receivers. Our fifth and finals goes to my... Don't you dare be Malik Willis. Nitschke's a nasty user. I get three picks. Nitschke's a guarantee. He's such a good user. Can need that. Marshawn Lattimore and Saquon Barkley. Saquon's the starting halfback. Marshawn Lattimore becomes CB2. We push Legereus. Ooh. Let's go. Wait a second. I got to see what that first round was. I don't remember the first round. Okay, the first round had Randall Cunningham in it. I'm not going to use him anyway. So I got Malik. I'm just going to quick sell him. Probably could have kept him on my bench. That was stupid, but whatever. These three just got added to the team. Let me show you this Ray Nitschke, man. He is up there with Ray Lewis as a user. Ray Lewis. Super Bowl is better. But look at this card. Six foot three, 93 speed, 94 change of direction, which is so good. He gets discounted lurker, 95 block shedding, 97 hit power. He's just nasty, man. He's so good. And 94 Saquon Barkley. He gets one AP backfield mismatch, two AP tank, and one AP evasive. Darn it. Really hoping he would get backfield master, but 94 break tackle, 94 speed. A lot better than Ramondre Stevenson. In Wheel of Mod, if I lose the game, I don't get to keep any of my players from the wheel spins. So scary Terry. Saquon, Nitschke, all those guys are on the line right now. But if I complete my challenge wheel and get to keep my players, I can salvage one wheel spin. And right now, if I were to complete my challenge wheel, I'm 100% salvaging those three. He gets free lurker. I just wish I could run Crusher. Crusher for 2 AP. I'm running it. Lattimore doesn't get a free ability, does he? Were any of those completely free? No, they weren't. Okay. All right, boys, that leads us to our third and final wheel spin of today's episode. First two went really solid. I would definitely salvage the second one if I had to. You guys have never seen this wheel spin before. This is a core elite player. However, I get to pack a punch them if I win the game. Now, a pack a punch is I take a player and I turn them into their best version possible. Take, for example, CD Lamb. So I could buy any core elite in this game, like this CD Lamb right here. And if I win the game, I get access to this CD Lamb, the 98 overall game changer. This CD Lamb is so, so, so good. I've been streaming on MMG Live, actually, doing some Madden pack openings, and I pulled this CD Lamb. He's a million coins because his ability buckets are insane. He's also six foot two with 98 speed. So that's how this wheel spin works. And you know who has the meanest quarterback card, bro? Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert has some of the craziest discounted abilities I think yes. I've ever seen. We would buy core elite Justin Herbert. He'd sit on the bench. If we get the win, I get to grab 98 overall Justin Herbert, who's fucking disgusting. Six foot six, 92 speed, throws like maniac shit. Oh, he's so good. He has every single ability discounted. Evasive, fast break, fearless, gunslinger, no look that I pass leader. Hey, Malik Willis, I love you, man. But it's time for someone else to take over. Last season was the season of athleticism. This season is the season of grit. All right, beautiful. My backup is core elite Justin Herbert, and I can pack a punch him if and only if I win the game. For unis, I'm going to stick with the have a Nike day for the away ones. And then I'll go to Oilers unis for home games. And the final thing we've got, gentlemen, is the challenge wheel. I'm going to let you guys see this before me. This is the first thing up on the list. Knock over a pylon. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know if I've ever successfully done this challenge. I've gotten it over the last two or three years, maybe at least once a year, and I've never completed it. Literally. Yeah. The last game. No! Wait, I just sat. Get there. Oh my God, I hit a pylon. Let's go. Pylon, pylon. Pylon. Yes. yes! I knocked it over! I actually knocked it over! It don't matter now. Alexa, you can get shit on, bud. 
He's got Mike Vick, Justin Jefferson, and Sauce. Uh-oh. I got Logan Wilson on the right side. Okay, we got to stay in this set pretty much the whole game. He's got a check down. He won't take it. You won't throw that. No fucking way you throw that. Not play action, so he's got time. Oh, 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 oh. oh I was just behind that with Nitschke. Dude, a turnover right now? Oh my god, that would change the fucking world. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Play action this time. Uh-oh, he's gonna go at Palomalu. This is what I was saying earlier, man. He can take the top off him. That's the exact one play touchdown I was talking about. PA shot seems that's the play that can beat my slow Palomalu. All right, first and 10, he's press covering Jefferson. Which I would have liked, except he's not open. B was open in the middle. This is a very hot blitz. I gotta hit Hawkinson here. What the fuck? What? It said perfect accuracy and Hawkinson doesn't even jump? I had this problem with Malik Willis last year too. Oh, wow. We really had a chance to start this game out so well. And now we're starting out so horribly. PA shot seems it's the same play. Oh, wow. And the middle just frees up for Vic. He doesn't even have to slide because he has Truz on, I think. Oh, he goes with a handoff. Nice stop. Nice stop. It's third and nine. I got David on Yamada and a QB spy here. Oh, I'm there. Hey, let's go, Sauce. Get up. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, let's be smart. Let's be smart. He can make mistakes. Great play by Sauce Gardner to step up and get that. Dude, these blitzes are going to be so annoying. I don't got the offensive line to run at it, I don't think. Ah, uh, actually, I shouldn't say that so early. Barkley. Oh, good catch, good spin. What a play. Third and four, a sketchy, sketchy pickup, but we got it. Is this the zone again? Oh, yes, sir. Scary Terry. Ooh. There's Scary Terry again. He keeps leaving that. Beautiful. Great throw, Malik. Let's do it again. Hawking socks. Ooh, he almost got that. Oh, nice first. Four for five, 66 yards. I got to remember the pylon. I got to remember the pylon. Oh, my God. I forgot a fucking power-up player. Oh my god, I forgot a power-up player. That's how nervous I am. I forgot an entire addition to my team. Dude, in this season, I was gonna do something new with the power-up player. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something, but I couldn't remember what. Oh my god, second and nine. Scary Terry, good. Don't get hit up. Okay, third and one. How do I get to a pylon? Can I really get to an edge here? Dude, if I can knock over a pylon right now. Oh my god, that'd be so good. Third and one. <laughs> I'm gonna go stretch left. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> go, go, go. Shit. Now it's fourth and two. I'm just taking my field goal. Damn, that was stupid. I should have got my points. I can't believe I forgot a power player. All right, Nitsky's there. Nice stop. Second and six. Right, I'm blitzing this time. Oh! He throws at Nitsky. Go! Pylon! Pylon! Pick six and a pylon! I did it! I fucking did it! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, I'm fucking... Um. Ray Nitschke, the user god. Moss's wide receiver refused to be tackled and made a huge play right there. Dude, I get so nervous running at that pylon. I get so fucking nervous, man. All right, challenge wheel complete. Bro, if we win the game, we keep Herber. Oh my God, there's so many good things happening right now. I think he's expecting the blitz. Oh no, 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 no. Not again, not again, not again, not again. Are we there? No. I forgot he did that to me before. That's crazy. Shit. I'm on Otito Agbania. Okay, big tackle. Fuck. Bad in 23 blows. Yes, yeah, says you, bro. You're running PA shot seams. The only good news is I do get the ball at half. So if I can put up points here, then get the ball at half, I can make it a two-possession lead. Okay, I don't know if this is man or what this is. He leaves this again. Dude, it, you gonna leave that the whole game? Ooh, I had Oh, I still technically do. That's a heave. What a ball! Malik! I was gonna say I had A, but you know what? We still had him. Oh, man. Shit. Shit. Pussy. All right, that was a good throwaway. Damn, did Megatron have him beat? Maybe I could have thrown that. Third and 13. I'm not even in field goal range right now. Jay Jettas. Boy. What the fuck is that? What? Justin Jefferson's wide open. Why does Sandcastle get that? I know what you're gonna try and do, and I'm going back there for it this time. Sorry, mate, but you are not gonna actually score on this, like, the whole game. You're gonna have to, like... Cough up some skill at some point. No way. Get this shit out of here. There's no way. Is this all he has to do? Come on, forget to call a timeout. Dumbass. 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 Let's go. All right, I gotta have to switch up the defense though. Yeah, Scary Terry did not have his abilities activated for some reason, so I'm glad those are on now. I get ball at half. He forgets to call a timeout. That is absolutely massive. Now this looks like man coverage. It is. That was man. Hawkinson gets a great release on the whip. See this? That's the same ball I threw last time. Scary Terry. Same thing? Are you for real? Oh! 
Scary Terry, are you kidding me? First and goal, I'm running this in with Malik. Here we go, first and goal. Step it up. I don't even know if anybody was open. I literally didn't even look. Oh, yup, got him. What a route. Justin Jefferson hits the gritty. Yes, sir. Eat him in man coverage. There's some redemption for Justin Jefferson. I think he got hoed out of the last one. Great route and great catch. Everybody back. He throws the check down. Get on him. Get on him. What the fuck? He's that fast? Fast as fuck, boy. What the fuck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time to see a miracle we got that tackle. But hey, he's not one play touchdowning me right now, so I at least have a chance to stop him. First and 10. Does he run it again? No. This is a pass. Not going to take the corner route. He's going to step up with Vic. I'm there! Oh my god, I was about to rock his shit! Oh, I... Great slide. He's... Fucking he almost got fucking sent to the... He almost got sent to the nether realm, bro. He got sent to the shadow realm. Shit! I'm sending everybody away. Wow. I'm honestly shocked that he passed that. A well-earned touchdown by him. I can't be mad about that one. He didn't, didn't hit me with any crazy one-play touchdown. He just got my ass there. He is usering Sauce Gardner. I had A. I still technically do, but I also have Malik. If this is man, I'm in trouble. If it's not, we're all right. It's a shocking how often he leaves that open. I'm going to see if I can't score with no time left on this clock to win this ball game. Man coverage. Oh, no. Ooh, I thought he was going to pick that off. I had the whip on the left. Okay, so this left side whip route is consistently open no matter what he's running. Yup. Yup. That was man that time, and it didn't matter. Ooh, he's got Michael Vick corner. I think this is zone now, so I hit Scary Terry. Ooh, Cromwell's there for that one. Death taxes and that shit being open, though. Wow. He really does not want to guard that. There he is. Beauty. What a throw, Malik. Cross body. Probably shouldn't be switching this up right now, but I'm over it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. It was so open. Not zone. Scary Terry. Great catch. He's still up. Let's go. First and goal. He calls his first time out. I got to get in there. I got to get in the fucking end zone. Oh, it's man. Do I just hit Jefferson right now? I got to send a motion, man. I got to spook him out. I, I, he does it again. Ah, did I score too quick? A minute 23, he only burnt one timeout. God, but Justin Jefferson's fucking bullying that DB. 24 to 21, what a drive. I can't get one play bombed on. I can't let him, if he scores a touchdown, I just lose, man. I just lose this game. I'm sending the blitz to stop this. Oh, he ran the ball. Huh? What? Paul's a timeout. What was that? He gets a flag for too many pen. <laughs> All right, second 11. I don't know if this changes anything, but I'm going to try it. Corner roll. We just win the game. The man covers. Eric Berry. Oh my God. 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 We might actually get Herbert. Give me a shotgun pass with an in inside zone. Give me ball carrier conservative. Oh wait, he only has one timeout. Is the game already over? Wait, he only has one timeout. Is it already over? I didn't realize he only had two. Eric fucking Barry. That's one for 30 seconds. I oh, dude, I have never been so goddamn clutch at Madden in my entire life. Season after season, year after year. I win some of these games, like maybe 40% of the time. But this year, I am like 80% on clutch games. Maybe 90, bro. I'm in the golden fucking era right now. Oh my Dang. God, we did not just win that game. Oh my God, what a W. Challenge wheel. Justin Herbert and a W. This was the play of the game, though. So he runs PA shot seams again, but I ran man. He could have thrown up. Oh, this is bench, actually. He is looking at either corner route. It's just Eric Berry is too damn good. Palomalu was torched. Look at Palomalu on the right side. He's burnt. But he threw at Eric Berry and Eric Berry, proving why Eric Berry was the right prestige call. And Justin Jefferson just bullying the man coverage on a slant route again. And he gets a beautiful tackle animation to roll that puppy in there. Woo! Can we get game of the year on the fucking opener? Oh my god, you guys are so spoiled. You know that? You guys are so spoiled with how good these wheel emotes have been. To start the season, our wheel spin core elite pack a punch if win means our new quarterback at the start of next episode will be none other than 98 overall Justin Herbert. Let's go pick him up right now. Servers, 
cannot process my request. I swear to God, you didn't count that victory for me, EA. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. It better say one and all when I log in. Don't you dare, EA, dude. I'll suck you the cock right off your ass. One and all, baby. Yo, no way. He said, MMG, if it's you, dude, I love you, GG. Gotta say love you, my guy. I hope he sees this wheel of mud. He said, is it actually me? Hey, what WAM is this? WAM 53? WAM 53, baby. You'll find out for yourself. So first things first, completed the challenge wheel. I don't have to salvage any players because I won the game. So we get one of any pack in the store. You can only use the training store if it's a challenge wheel in the playoffs. So I can't open any of these. So for my pack, I'm going to do the free agency fantasy pack. Two of 390 plus and one of 282 plus. Free agency has some really good players. We're just looking for anything higher than a 90 or a 90 overall role player. Hey, fullbacks. It doesn't really help me, but technically he could go be a backup tight. I don't know where how we're going to use him. 90 overall center is really good. Move him to a guard position. And our last player is George Fanny. We already have. I guess I'll take these two. That was kind of a weird one. We also get an 89 Bruce Irvin who will be helpful and an ultimate legend. That's an 82 plus gives us 91 bow who I also really can't use. So I'll go Bruce Irvin. Ethan's definitely going in. So is Bruce Irvin. I don't know where I'd put the fullback. I guess he could just be a sub in blocking tight end. So tight end three instead of Ogle Tree is Blasen Gama. He's got 95 speed as a fullback. Oh my God. Yeah, he might actually be halfway decent right there. And centers can play left tackle. I'm going to move Ethan Potrich, however you say this. I'm going to move him to my left tackle since there's absolutely nobody in there right now. I'm pretty sure centers are better at guard though. So hopefully we get some guards. I don't know. This is all kind of weird, but at least we got some guys on the offensive line. And Malik Willis for the final time. I have to thank you for everything you've done. But since we won, we do get to pack a bunch. Our core elite, core elite we chose was Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert, the 98 overall quarterback. Let me pick him up real quick first and we can talk about some abilities. Six foot six, 92 speed, 98 throw power, insane accuracies. God, he's so good. Hey, he's moved into a 99. I'm gonna give him run and gun. My all-time favorite ability. I'm sure he'll be activating that at some point this season. And then for discounted abilities, so many. Fearless for free. Pass lead elite. Increased throw power when leading bullet passes. That's really important. I could get everything. I can get gunslinger for zero everywhere here. Gunslinger for zero right here. Okay, so we'll take gunslinger for zero on the second slot. We'll take hot route master for one. We'll take pass lead elite for two right here. And we'll take fearless for zero. Immune to defensive pressure while in the pocket. Fearless, pass lead elite, hot route master, and gunslinger for three AP. What the fuck? Fuck. Now, my understanding is that pass lead elite is a slightly better version of set feet lead. Set feet lead requires you to have your feet set, whereas pass lead elite does not, but they are both insanely important. 99 Herbert's back there with Okoye Saquon. We're still upgrading Megatron. He's got Scary Terry and Jefferson to throw to. Hawkinson, Noah Gray, <laughs> Kari Blasengame. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. Before I forget, a power-up player. Generally in Wheel of Mud, I have a power-up player. A player that when they achieve certain stats, they get upgraded to the next best version. Version. It's usually a legend player, but now I have a new option and my new option is ultimate legends And that was what I was so excited about this season, but I forgot because I'm stupid So I apologize and for my power-up player. I have an amazing option My power-up player is gonna be ultimate legends 98 overall clay Matthews an absolutely insane linebacker now. You're wondering how I'm gonna do this Let me explain clay Matthews has a legend card. So we'll start with this legends clay Matthews. And rather than maxing him out at this 93, once he gets to this 93 and gets one more stat, he upgrades to a 98 overall. And to compensate for that additional upgrade needed, we're gonna start Clay Matthews with his first upgrade already available. Now he's only an 83 overall. He does not have good stats. He's got 82 speed. He's six foot three. But with one, two, three, four, five, and then a sixth upgrade, he'll be a 98 overall. Now, for a defensive player to get an upgrade, he needs one of a few things. A TFL, a sack, is an upgrade. A forced fumble or fumble recovery is an upgrade. An interception is an upgrade. A touchdown is another upgrade. And a pick two is also another upgrade. I have to specify that now because it has happened in the past. So, if Clay Matthews can get any significant stat that isn't just simply a solo tackle, he will get an upgrade. So, Clay Matthews is now in for Logan Wilson. They're actually the same overall, which is kind of funny. And since it's all the same, I can actually give Clay Matthews, the secondary position of left outside linebacker. I don't use chems anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. That's everything for today's episode. I'm so sorry to have my power-up player out there, but honestly, I don't think Logan Wilson got a single stat, so I don't think Clay Matthews would have either. They're basically the same card as of right now. Massive plays across the board. I'm so happy with the team right now. That was an amazing game one. No question about it. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next Wheel of Mutt or the next video, right? Hey, I love you. Peace out.